There are almost 4 million EU nationals living in the UK. As the Brexit deadline approaches, how are they feeling about their futures? I'm beginning my journey here in South Kensington, which is a centre for some of London's French people. It's also a place where plenty of other EU nationals live. And I'd like to find out how they're feeling about the approaching Brexit deadline. My name is Lili Modenova. I work with French people in the French bookshop in London, <laughs> in the heart of London. I think that English people, they don't want to talk a lot about Brexit. But for me and for all my colleagues and for all my friends, uh, they're not uh, worried about Brexit. Nobody's worried actually about Brexit. And would you say that's in part? Except the British people. Except the British people. Yeah. Maybe the Brexit will leave blood in the streets, I believe, once the population realise what it means for them. A no deal is a terrible idea. I think as an Irish citizen, I'll be okay, um, which is great that the, our relationship will persist. However, as a director of a limited company, um, I've given, we've given ourselves until around halfway through February, whether we make a hard decision to reincorporate in another European company, country, and that will be a long-term decision. We will not come back to London. So I'm Benoit Valentin. I've been here for uh, 15 years. Every one of the European uh, living in London know about uh, sort of anecdotes where uh, Londoners uh, have been sort of, you know, un unfriendly. Europeans haven't just made their homes in London. Across the country, EU migrants have become an integral part of the British economy. So are they being made to feel unwelcome? I come here to Stratford-upon-Avon, a town which is reliant on the tourism and hospitality sector. And here in William Shakespeare's hometown, I'd like to find out how those Europeans are feeling about their futures. My name is Ingrid Stevens. I'm originally from Germany. I did apply for a permanent uh, residence permit permanent, so to say. Uh, I got it, only to learn very soon afterwards that it wasn't permanent at all. Initially I wanted to apply for citizenship, but I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be a citizen of this country. It's ruined for me. It's, it made me feel excluded. Um, for me, something has been spoiled in the, in the ambience that was there before. But that's not true for everyone. Our city is quite small. I think that most people can feel that in the you know, big cities like London or Birmingham or other. But you know, in our city it's quiet and yeah. we, we don't feel any difference now. It's difficult to see a resolution that suits everyone. The ripples of the referendum will be felt for years to come. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews.